Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica the Inspire Maze, and I'm just going to talk. So if you're sensitive or don't believe in certain conspiracy theories, you might want to click off now. So how y'all doing? I'm blessed. I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am magnificent. I am manifesting all of my desires effortlessly. And I feel blessed. And I felt inspired to come to you today and make a video. So I'm just going to make it. And I keep stopping and going and stopping and going. And I'm just going to talk. So can we kick it? So we're just going to kick it for a minute. And I'm just going to come to you to have I come to you raw, basically. So let's talk about the Black Panther leaving us. The Black Panther left us. But, really, technically, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So, he didn't really leave us. In fact, when you go to the spiritual realm, you become more accessible to everybody. Because now you're not confined to your body no more. So, you got to be able to think about it in a, in a higher realm. You got to be able to take it all in. Now, you got the news saying he died of colon cancer. That's disrespectful. Now, this is why I say it's disrespectful to that. Even if he did die of colon cancer, you don't broadcast that. How many people would you want to know if that's what you passed away of, honestly? Yes, personal. And I feel like the media sometimes paints the picture a certain way to degrade our black men and make them look bad. Yes, it's personal business, no matter what happened to him. Now, on the conspiracy side, could it have been foul play or could it have been because he didn't want to do a Black Panther series or a part two? There ain't no telling. When you worth that much money and you go against the grain, then who's to say? So now we left with, oh, man, we got Jake that just got shot up seven times. Thank God he lived. And then we got, on the other end, Black Panther, we bombarded. Have you noticed that every time we get a glimmer of hope or, 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 or strength, the police strike again, or your celebrity that you loved, like Black Panther was like iconic, even for the kids. My son's room was Black Panther. So it's like everywhere my sons look, it's an attack on the black man or black man is dying. It's death and dying over and over and over and over. So what what do we do? How do we survive? What you got to do is have a razor sharp focus. Like you damn near got to ignore the current reality. Like we in 2020, ain't no telling what's going to happen. You got the coronavirus. You got all the stuff going on. <clears throat> Keep in mind... Stress is just like sex. It's going to sell. It's going to sell. So, could it be that they want to stress us out? And it, it, Now, this ain't got nothing to do with race at this point. Stress is a billion-dollar industry. Cigarette sales go up. Liquor. Weed. Everything sells because of stress. So, if you stressed out, and we can keep you stressed out enough, and in panic of the constant state of your surroundings, oh, I gotta be afraid of this, I gotta be afraid of that, I gotta wear my mask, I gotta fear the police, I gotta fear, 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 fear. If you're in a constant state of fear, you cannot achieve none of your goals. Because if you're in fear, then you you outside of faith. So... You have to be able to go to source without delay. No matter what's going on in your current reality, you got to have a razor-sharp focus only on what you want. And you got to be able to submit and pray and, and submit yourself to a creator because evidently it's the creator running the whole show, you know, that you can breathe in and out without even thinking about it, so... Somebody's breathing for you. Something is breathing for you. You sleep all night long, and you have breathed all night long. You didn't think about that. So there must be a motherboard somewhere, evidently. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So 
I just wanted to come on here, man, and just encourage you. Because when I first heard about it, I felt, oh, man, like, ah, the Black Panther, they didn't, they didn't took the Black Panther from us. But just keep in mind that nothing happens that's outside the will of God. So if it did happen, God allowed it to happen for whatever reason. So we had to just be in a constant state of, like, acceptance and just live your life to the fullest. So that's why I'm I'm here because a part of me feels like I'm 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 made to do this even though sometimes it feels like I don't know, almost like I'm out of my groove, but I still feel like you ain't, you're not going to be able to sleep until you do it. So just do it. So tomorrow is not promised. As you can see, this man was at the height of his career. And now he's not here anymore. So like you can't just sleep on what you want to do. No matter what it is, you got to just... At least you'll be able to say you tried it. You don't want to get to the end of your existence and say, Dang, I wish I had at least tried to do this and that. So, continue to be encouraged. Continue to do whatever God has called you to do and be led. Continue to be focused, razor sharp focus on what you want. Because right now, this 3D matrix world is full of illusion and full of distractions to get you to be stressed out, panic. And when you're stressed out and then you're in panic, now, you, now you're susceptible to the corona. Because now your immune system is, is lower than weakened. So keep that in mind. you got to be able to have a level head. And the main way you get it is through prayer and meditation. And just relaxing and allowing source to flow through you and use you. Um, so I'm going to get off. And I just want to reiterate. That no matter what is going on in the media, at this point, it doesn't matter if it's true or false. You got to be able to accept it, and you got to be able to um, continue. No matter what's going on, you got to be able to thrive in all situations. So, the way you thrive is you go to source. <clears throat> There's a creator, an infinite creator that you can go to. And pray to so use them. We in 2020, so go straight to source. So when I heard about it, I prayed. I prayed that His Spirit be at peace. I prayed that He have a smooth transition. And the interesting thing is, it always shakes us up as if we don't have a a, a dying day. Like you you realize that oh snap, like I got a dying day too. You don't know when it is. That's man does not know the day nor the hour. That's what that means. You have no idea. You think you're going to live to be 100, but you don't know when the Lord going to call you home. So the only thing you can do is pray, live your life to the fullest day by day, and just try to not try. Take try out. Make sure you stay in alignment and stay focused on God and what you want. Have razor sharp focus. And so, the more you practice it, the more you get in touch with God, and the more you pray, and <clears throat> not be led by others, the easier you can do it. So, I pray that everybody stays healthy, stays safe, stays inspired, and stays focused on their goals and their desires. I'm reading two books. I want to share them with y'all. This book just came out. It's called Hallucination Theory. And it's real good. It, it, it applies to today because um, it talks about mass hallucinations and how the media uh, portrays different images and different um, scenarios to get people to thinking on the same frequency. And your thoughts dictate your whole reality. That's the se that's the big secret. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. So, if the media can control how you feel, then they got you. So. It's way deeper. Like, it's actually scientific proof that if 
they can dictate how you feel. They can control you. It's basically like um, they can handle you. They can manipulate you. They can control what you produce. You're not going to be able to produce if you always in a sad, depressed state. Basically, they want to be your, your, your dealer. They want to be your soother. And a lot of people are addicted to negative stuff. They're addicted to watching the news. Like, turn that off. Read your book. <clears throat> I'm reading this other book called Black Fortunes. Um, it talks about how uh, people went from slavery to uh, millionaire status. And that's what I want to do. I want to escape my mental slavery and go from mental um, prosperity. When you go from, from mental slavery to mental prosperity, then everything changes. And... I know that I'm a manifester and I'm going to start manifesting more often than doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Regardless of what's going on in the world, in the media, I'm, I got to just decide that nothing is going to stop me from my goals and my dreams. So that's what I want to inspire you to do. Just tap into your strength. You get your strength from God. Don't try to get it from nothing else. You'll waste your time. So be blessed. Be inspired. Have razor sharp focus and keep doing what you're doing. Like, subscribe, um, comment. Um, I'm open. This is an open channel. It's a channel where you can um, have an open, uh, a free thinking mind. I'm a free thinker, so I don't just take what people tell me and run with it, or take what the media tells me and run with it. I like to read. I like to study. I like to add up the whole scenario. So. And I'm going through life discovering the, the mysteries of the universe. So if you like stuff like that and you think outside the box, then subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back as I feel inspired. All right, y'all be blessed.